Hi everyone, for today's lecture video, I will be discussing to you class about laboratory equipment. Okay, number one. Number one is baker, okay? A baker class, function of this laboratory apparatus is um, serve as a container for steering, mixing, and heating liquids. Ibig sabihin, ilalagyan to ng mga liquid substances, tapos dito din ginagamitan ng pag-steer, pag-ahalo, pag-mix, o pwede siyang gamitin heating purposes. Okay? Okay, number two is test tube. Test tube, okay? Test tube is also known as a culture tube or a sample tube. It is a common piece of laboratory glassware consisting of a finger-like length of glass or clear plastic tubing. It has an open at the top, usually with a rounded U-shaped button. Okay, this, this test tube, it is also used to use for conducting investigations. Normally, class, dito nilalagay yung mga blood samples or any substances kasi mas mabilis itong gamitin tong aparatus na to, itong test tube. Okay? Next, we have Florence flask. Ang Florence flask class has a round body with a single long neck with either a round or a flat bottom. Kung titignan yung class, it's around Around yung uh, upper niya, itong lid, tapos meron siyang long neck, tapos meron din siyang flat na bottom pero pabilog siya. Para saan to? Ito ay ginagamit nito for heating purposes. Same as the baker. Okay? Um, another is Erlen Mayer Flask. Ang Erlen Mayer Flask ay parewala din sa function ng baker pero ni sa function ng Florence Flask, okay? Uh, pero pinagkaiba sa kanila yung itsura. Mas maiksi yung neck, pero triangular yung basement niya, o yung base. Look at this one, class. Used also for heating liquids, okay? The small neck reduces evaporated loses compared to a baker. Ibig sabihin, pag maliit yung butas ito sa taas, mas kukunti lang lumalabas ng mga gases. Pero pag malaki, mas medyo madami. So, tandaan natin class, ang Erlen Mayer Flask, Florence Flask, and Baker ay pareho, pwede silang heating purposes. Next is graduated cylinder o cylinder. Ang gamit ng graduated cylinder class is what? Uh, it help us to create an accurate and precise uh, sets of volume of liquid. Ibig sabihin, class, pag itong gagamitin mong graduated cylinders, you can get um, the accurate and precise volume of water. Aside from volume of water, pwede mga solid uh, materials, just like, for example, salts, milk powder, at marami pang iba. Pwede ka dito magsukat kasi mas accurate itong aparato na to pag ginamit during laboratory class. Next, number six is funnel tube. Sa Tagalog ng funnel tube is imbudo. Bakit siya tinatawag na funnel tube? Kasi dito dumadaan o dito idinadaan o channel liquid or fine grain substances. Dito nilalagay para hindi kumalat lahat ng mga chemicals or any substances na inilalagay sa ibang containers. Next, number seven, watch glass. Ang watch glass class ay uh, ito yung uh, aparatos na ginagamit para din ay ano yung liquid at fine grain substances ay hindi kumalat hindi kumalat okay ito ay nakakatulong din to para uh, mailipat yung isang substance sa ibang container ito yung watch glass Next is evaporating dish. Bakit kaya itinatawag na evaporating dish? Kasi dito normally class, ay ito usually ginagamit para magpa-evaporate 
ng ibang substances. For example, kung gusto mo mag-separate yung, yung salt and water, so you need to use this one kasi mas maganda itong evaporating dish gamitin kaysa iba. Mas mabilis ma mag-functions to. At ito din class, ang purpose din dito is um, heating purposes. Pwede siyang uh, pakuluan. Pag may substance dito, pwede din siyang gamitin as a container. Or, sinasabi din dito, these evaporating dish are used to what? To evaporate excess water or any other solvents or yung tinatawag natin residue na maiiwan or concentrated solutions na the dissolved substance is left behind. Ibig sabihin, mas maganda tong gamitin, tong evaporating dish. Next is crucible and cover. This one is the crucible and this one is the cover. So, para saan yan? This one also uh, a container capable of withstanding extreme temperature. Ibig sabihin, pag sinabing extreme temperature, pwede mo siyang gamitin sa pinaka mataas na, na hot temperature. Pwede mo siyang gamitin. Pwede mo siyang gamitin sa pagpakulo kahit ilan degrees pa yan. Hindi siya masisira. Okay? Yun ang, yun ang function ng crucible, cruc crucible and cover. Okay, crucibles are used for a range of purposes, particularly common amongst chemists for the chemical analysis of various substances. So class, again, sinasabi ito, ginagamit ito ng mga chemists kasi mas maganda ito gamitin kaysa ibang aparato kasi it will hold the extreme temperatures pag ginamit ito inside the laboratory activities. Next is reagent bottle. Ang reagent bottle, pag sinabing reagent, ito yung mga solution na pwede mong ilagay sa loob nitong bottle na to. Kaya tinatawag siyang reagent bottle or serve as a containers made of glass, plastics, borosilicate, and related substances and topped by special cups or stoppers. So, may ibang uh, reagent bottle class na ang nakakover dito sa taas is cork stopper. May iba naman plastics. Okay. Again, this is how it looks like yung reagent bottle. Okay. Next is Bunsen burner. Bunsen burner alcohol lamp um, has the same purpose. Okay. They serve as a flammable gas with control amount of air before ignition. Ibig sabihin, ito yung ginagamit para pang pakulo o pang heating purposes sa mga container na gusto mong gamitin para Uh, madwilis kumulo. So, itong gagamitin mo, uh, Bunsen burner or alcohol lamp. In short, uh, flaming or flammable purposes or hot, uh, produces hotter fit flame that would be possible using the ambient air and gases. So, in short, pwede siyang panluto. Next is iron clamp. Ang iron clamp class, this one, it, okay, iron clamp. Okay, ito iron clamp to. Okay, iron clamp 'yan. An iron clamp is a piece of laboratory equipment used to hold things and in place in an iron stand to ele elevate other equipment. Okay, ito yung example ng iron clamp. Next is iron stand. An iron stand is a metal rod attached to the heavy metals. Okay, ito naka-attach siya sa heavy metals na sa baba. Ang tawag niyo dito is iron stand. The heavy base keeps the stand stable and vertical metal rod allows for easy height adjustment of the iron right clamp. Okay, another use is pwede, mo, ay, pwede kang gumamit din ng tripod. Same as yung, same din yung function ng iron stand sa tripod. Next is iron ring. Ang iron ring, this one. Ito yung iron ring. Dito nilalagay lahat ng mga containers para pwede kang magpakulo. O ginagamitan to ng wire gauge para hindi maalog-alog yung pinapakuluan mong substance inside the container like baker. Next is test tube holder. Ang test tube holder is to hold 
sa to hold test tubes. For example, pag nagpapakulo ka ng test tube, pinapainitan mo, so kailangan mong gamamit ng test tube holder kasi pag hindi mo gamitan, mainit ang test tube. So, one tendency, maaari mong bitawan ng test tube at mabasag. Unlike using this uh, aparato, hindi mo siya na, hindi mo siya maitatapon o mababasang test tube once na ito ay mainit because of this um, apparatus. Tignan nyo, designed to hold test tube. Okay? Next is test tube brush. Ang test tube brush class, ginagamit to pa for cleaning materials inside the test tube. Kasi kung titignan natin class ang test tube, it is a cylindrical. Ibig sabihin ganyan siya kaliit. Tapos, yun naman pwedeng pasukan ng sponge. So, ang gagamitin is this one. Papasok yan sa loob para pang cleaning. Para malinis ang loob ng test tube. It also used as a brush that is long and narrow to clean the inside of glassware na tinatawag nating test tube in a particular apparato. Next, we have wire gauge. Ang wire gauge, ito yung nilalagay doon mismo sa iron ring para magkaroon ng balanse ang container. Look at this one. Magkaroon ng balanse ang container para hindi ito matumba at maayos ang pagkabigay ng apoy. So, yan. The use of a wire gauge is an experiment is to place under container holding the liquid that is being heated by the Bunsen burner or the alcohol lamp. Next is tripod. Tripod and iron stand, iron ring, and iron clamp ay pareho lang sila ng purpose. Ito ay for heating purposes. Kasi dito nilalagay yung flame Tapos dito nilalagay sa taas yung baker pagpakuluan. And that's it. O, yun ang purpose nitong um, tripod. Kaya bakit tripod? Kasi tatlo ang kanyang legs. Tripods. Okay? Next is a spatula. A spatula para siyang um, spoon. Para saan yan? It used to what? To handle small quantities of solid or any forms of chemicals. Kasi hindi naman pwede natin hawakan ang mga substances. So, we need to use this spatula in order to transfer one materials to the other container. Or, you know, or scooping materials out of a container or putting inside the container. Next is laboratory gum. This is one of the um, most useful bago ka pumasok inside the laboratory. Okay? Para saan to class ang laboratory gown or apron? It is serve as the protection ng inyong sarili, lalo na pag ito ay kumalat o mag-splashes sa inyo ang lahat ng chemicals because hindi maiiwasan sa loob ng laboratories na magkakaroon ng, ng, ng incident na ma, ma, mabuhos. So, instead na mabuhos sa damit mo, sa laboratory gown siya dederecho. So, in short, pwede mo siyang tanggalin yung gown mo, pero okay na ulit ang iyong uh, uniform. So, it serves as a protection pagpasok nyo sa loob ng laboratory. Next is a safety goggles. Safety goggles is used to what? To protect your eyes during laboratory exercises or activities. Kasi baka mamaya may tumalsik or na chemicals, baka mamaya matalsik ka ng mata, so, baka mabulag. So, the purpose of this is to protect your eyes during the lab. Next is magnifying lens. A magnifying lens, it is used to what? To enlarge small objects. Ibig sabihin, yung mga objects na nasa loob, pwede siyang gamitan ng magnifying lens para lumaki. Kaya nga tinawag siyang magnify. Ibig sabihin, to enlarge objects. Okay? From small things to bigger one. Next is microscope. Okay. Pag sinabi ting microscope class, micro means maliliit. Ibig sabihin, it can aid or it can yeah, it can aid using this device for us to see those small um, small things na hindi natin makikita. Kaya may tinatawag microscope. 
Okay, microscope class, meron din siyang parts and functions, but we will not discuss that anymore. Again, microscope, it is an optical instrument that will magnify lenses or combinations of lenses for inspecting object too small to be seen by unaided eye. So, ibig sabihin, ginagamit ito sa mga pagkita ng microbes, any bacteria, amoebas, protozoans, etc. at marami pang iba. So, using this microscope, makikita mo yung hindi mo makikita ng iyong mga mata. Okay? That's all for today.